Hello, everybody. I'm Drunk Farmer, and this is The Rant. Let's just get right down to it. Nebraska just lost. Simple as that, and there's a lot of factors into this. This is my own opinion, and some people may disagree with me. Some people may agree with me, but let's just get right to it. Offensive lot, offensively this week, we did okay with the run, but our, we didn't get the ball down the field enough. We did a little of those clear, those uh, quick flare passes or what the fuck ever they are, those little cute little passes you just you know throw out there. Unfortunately, they didn't work. Iowa kind of kind of caught on to that right away. Our running game was good. I mean, let's face it. I don't know why we just didn't stick to the run. I mean, we ran we ran all over it for a while. I mean, we were running on them, and all of a sudden we started getting cute with the cute little passes. Didn't pass a lot downfield. When we did, it, uh, we had one turnover, but the rest of the time uh, we we did all right. And when we got in the red zone, we did score, but we didn't get. But unfortunately, Nebraska had some opportunities in their laps, and especially towards the end of the game when the Iowa fumbled, and I was like, "Yes, let's go down and drive that ball into the end zone." But unfortunately, the offense stalled, and that's what the problem was. Yes, I granted Iowa has a great defense, but they were getting tired, and we just didn't do enough to, you know. We just didn't do enough, basically, what I'm trying to say. And that's what happens when an offense, when your offense stalls and has opportunities and you don't execute, yeah, nine times out of ten, you are going to lose games. Hello, Molly. You are going to lose some games. And yeah, well, Nebraska, that's what Nebraska's story was all year. Unfortunately, they got in the red zone, didn't score enough points. Maryland, they looked great, but let's come on, it was fucking Maryland. Everybody did that to Maryland. So, Nebraska, defensively, looked good. They held them, you know, the 24 points. Had a couple of hiccups here and there. But all in all, we did pretty good on defense. Special teams, well, they sucked. <laughs> another guy broke away for another touchdown this week. And uh, I tell you, that's just a, that was a killer right there. Because I thought, you know what, after we scored our touchdown, we kick it off to Iowa. Then Iowa goes down and, and returns a kickoff all the way to the end zone. Doesn't that take the air out of your tire when someone, some team does that? Well, it does. And unfortunately, it did Nebraska again because Wisconsin did it. Now Iowa did it. I thought we solved that problem, and apparently we didn't this year, week. Iowa's a good team. Don't let this team fool you. Even though they're knocked out of the Big Ten championship game, they are a good team. And, yes, and they have beaten us five years in a row, which, I'm, in my opinion, I'm getting really fucking sick and tired of. I'm sick and tired of Iowa coming and beating us, by, beating us every time. And we look a little – I thought we were better. I thought, you know, we looked a little bit better in Iowa in our run game. Second of all, here's the problem. The only thing I had to bitch about the defense this week, everyone, is really simple. We didn't get enough pressure on that quarterback, and that was the problem. We didn't get enough pressure on him, and we should have just went all out on him. It's the last fucking game of the season. Why not just put this? Let's go all out on offense and defensively. But unfortunately, we didn't. Yeah, the guys tried. I know it, and we know I'm going to hear. We're going to hear all that. Blah blah blah. But you know what? They should have won this game. They should have won this game. You know, if you if Scott Frost just opened up that playbook a little bit more, I think we could have won this game. But unfortunately, it's we turned out to be five and seven this year. And guess what? Nebraska stays home and watches the bowl games on TV again. We haven't been to a bowl game since 2016. That's a little irritating. We need to get back to a bowl game. Hell, I would have been happy with a six and six record, but that didn't happen. And now. Five and we sitting at five and seven. But let's let's just go it this way. We had a better record this year than we did last year. And Iowa beat us on a last second field goal like they did last year. All in all, Iowa just got goddamn lucky. That's all I have to say about that. Like I said, Nebraska had an opportunity towards the end of the game and they blew it. Their offense just stalled. Our offense it just stalled. That's the only way I can put it. It was dead in the water. For some unknown reason, the play calling sucked, and I and we had to kick the ball away. And at that time, Iowa drove down the field and scored the last second field goal. 
I mean, that's how the game ended, unfortunately. And now we're five and seven, and Nebraska's going to stay home and watch the bowl games on TV, like I said. So this has been the last rant of the season. I will see you next year. Everyone have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the year, and I'll see you next year. So long, everybody.